Okay, you're going to need a program called Subtitle Edit. It's free. It's online. I'll put the link to the website in the comment section of this video. First thing you're going to do is go to your settings and make sure that your default frame rate is set to 24 or if for some weird reason you're still using 2398, use 2398. These are the settings you want to use if they differ from the default. They're just the ones I figured out work best. Go ahead and open your script. You have to... We insisted that we got a copy of Final Draft and have the creative exec send over a copy of the Final Draft file so we could export as an Avid TXT file. There is an option in Final Draft for Avid TXT file. So once you have that, you can open up that TXT file in here. And it will go through and it will recognize all of the action beats and the dialogue beats and separate it for you automatically. Make sure you're using these settings here and hit OK. Now the only other thing I do is I highlight all of the events, right click and hit adjust durations for selected lines. Set it by a percentage of 75%. This is what I found works best for us. Next, make sure the format is avid caption file and hit file, save as Call this sample script avid. Okay, now you're ready to go back into your avid. So from here, I'm going to create a new sequence, set the hour to zero, then I'm going to cut in uh, as much black as I think I'll need for the length of the sequence. If this is a feature, you're probably going to need like, you know, two and a half hours worth, but this is a small example, so I'll just cut in like a few minutes. I'm only doing this because you can't insert an effect clip into an empty sequence. So if you already have a pre-built sequence, uh, you don't need to do this. But anyway, I'm gonna get rid of this audio track, create another track, go to my effects, generator subcap. Then I'm gonna go to my effect editor. I wanna import caption data, import my sample script, and there we go. Now I'm gonna get rid of this black that I had in here. Get rid of this excess. Zoom in. So there you go. You can see our script is up there. It just doesn't look right. So I'm going to go into the effects editor, edit the global properties, make sure that all of these are set to track. So that way if you affect one, it affects all the others on the track. Okay, I already have two uh, style sheets set up, one for action beats and one for dialogue, but obviously you can do this any way you want. I'm going to apply the action beat to all these and hit OK. Now all the action beats will look correct, but the dialogue won't. So the trick now, I'm going to start with all these on track one, is to separate your action and dialogue beats onto two tracks. So I'm going to keep my action beats on one, and if I see dialogue i'm going to put it on track two okay now action beats on track one dialogue on track two go back to my effects editor we're going to affect only track two make these my dialogue beat style sheet hit okay and now you got a working script action dialogue action and so on and so forth and if you watch if i hit play you'll see that the timing is pretty good and you can set the amount of pauses and the length of each clip based on the amount of text in each thing in subtitle edit, but I found with the settings I have, they get pretty close. The only other thing you have to modify is I would go through each one and make sure that the text isn't getting cut off at the, at the bottom of the screen. Sometimes if your style sheet isn't set up uh, to do really long things of dialogue or action, it'll end up off screen. So you might have to move a few of them, but for the most part, all of the hard labor is already taken care of for you.